Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how to imply security in your preview file. So security is definitely one feature that gets evaluated while deciding on a particular BI software to know how robust and dynamic its security is. In quick view, security is comparatively easy to set up and change based on the dynamic business requirements. So in this video, I will go through the basics of security and we will see it in action. The first thing here is to get introduced to the hidden script feature of ClickView. So for that, we need to go into the edit script. So here is the button to go in the edit script. And the hidden script is present within the script window. You have file and the option create hidden script. It is a place where you need to write the security script and it is by default hidden and password protected so that no other developers or users can see and change it. So that if you are distributing, you are sure that nobody will going to do any kind of modification in your hidden script or the security script. So first, first uh, step is to click on this create hidden script. It will ask you to set up a password for your hidden script. Let's give it password to password. A double S W O R T confirm is again password T A S S W R T. Click OK. Once you click OK, hidden script tab is now visible. So whatever we mention in this hidden script, it is not usually get displayed in the log window while running the script. So log window is basically that window where it shows how the script is executing. So all the script except hidden hidden script will be displayed in that lock window. Now let's go ahead and set up a basic security to our click view file. So the objective here is to setting up a couple of usernames and password so that whenever somebody is accessing the click view file, they can only access the file by the credentials provided by us. Setting up the user authorization under click view is generally referred to as section access. So we will first Use the same statement section access to start up with our security section access and semicolon now we need to set up a username and password so for that we will go into insert load statement and load inline we'll create a small inline table here with the uh, access user id and password so in click view at a high level access accesses are only of two type either it can be an admin or it can be a user admin has all the accesses for within this click view file to modify delete or remove anything however users are given with certain actions based on what kind of uh, uh, script we are specifying or options we are specifying for them. I will talk more about that in subsequent window, uh, videos, but here in this video, we will simply see how we can set up username and password. So for that, let's specify the information. Let's change this to access and give name as uh, admin and uh, user. The second one is uh, user id so i'm just double clicking on this heading and it is changing accordingly and uh, user id is admin and again let's give it user id as user so password admin123 just a dummy password and for this password is user123 let's change the name to this also to password okay so access, as I mentioned, only two level of access, admin, user. User ID can be anything. For admin, you can specify admin. And for user, you can give names and uh, whatever you find. User underscore India. The second uh, user can be user underscore Canada, user underscore UK. And accordingly, you can mention the password. So for now, let's go ahead with these two users and see this script in action. As we click OK, it generates a statement for us under access as we specified admin user 
user id is again admin and user password is admin 123 and user 123 all right let's finish this and mention a statement which is again section application this is required so that uh, your script which is further mentioned in these steps uh, will execute and we are specifying that up after this statement whatever uh, script is present is related to the application so for this let's hit save before running it and it will ask us to save this file so reduce with with so security let's just give some name click save let's reload this click close okay and just close we want to save the changes so why i am closing this because uh, you need to close this file permanently to to basically run the script uh, or to see the changes that we have made via the uh, security script so let's click save yes here is our file reduce with security so it has not uh, applied the security because I believe we have not fully closed the application. That's what uh, we meant when we have actually implied the security. So let's go ahead and uh, close this application fully. And here is our file which we saved, reduced with security. We will double click on this. And now you can see it is asking us for the user ID. So the username was admin and the password was say for example let's supply a wrong password let's just mention admin instead of admin 123 and hit ok it will again ask password so that you know you cannot just enter without any or with any wrong password so the password for admin was admin 123 admin 123 and now you can see that your application here is played so this is Pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about how to set up a simple username and password type of security in your ClickFi document. And I hope uh, you will find this video useful and uh, in addition to your learning of ClickFi. So before signing off, uh, if just wanted to show if you again want to go in your uh, uh, hidden script, you need to go back to edit script and uh, click on file and here is the option. This time, create hidden script is uh, disabled because you have already created it. Now, if you want to edit it, you can click here or you want to change the hidden script password, then you can click here and change the password. So to go into the hidden, hidden script, let's click on edit. It will ask the password first. So you can be sure that no other user will be able to access because only you know the password. So for this, we mentioned the password as password. P A S S W O R D, and here is our application. All right, thank you so much for watching this. I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.